I'm so happy that you that you're here in studio. I, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, last time you were on, uh, I got you to Zoom, which was unbelievable. That'll never happen in, again in the history of my lifetime. No. Will I get you on no. Zoom? That's correct. Uh, and I love that. I love that that happened for me. Just as a, just the little wins that make me happy. Uh, but we talked about pretend it's a city, which is a great uh, mini series uh, on uh, Netflix. If you just uh, if you just want to laugh, just put this on. You are so observant and have a different view of everything wherever you go, from cr crossing the street to anything. Uh, is there anything happening now in New York City that you're going like, okay, I'm noticing this? I did notice that the very first thing that came back months ago was traffic. Okay, so there's like, no one is here. There's nowhere to go. Everything's closed. No one's working. No one's going to school. Nothing is open. There's no place to go, but there was just traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, is true. this is kind of, you know, traffic in its purest form. You know, traffic with no, no purpose at all. Yeah. It's just, you know, traffic that was probably sent here by a f hostile farm power. You know, <laughs> just, just, just traffic sitting there, and I'm thinking, and of course, everyone's driving very recklessly, honking the horns, and I think, where are you going? What's the big rush? There's nowhere to go. There's Everything's actually nowhere to go. That's the first thing to come back. Right. Every, yeah. So that traffic was the first thing to come back. What do you think about uh, legalization of uh, marijuana? You know, I'm, I'm not... I, I haven't taken drugs since I was 19, um, but I don't care what other people do at all. But it does seem to me, since it was legalized for recreational use, I love that term, recreational use, um, it seems that it wasn't just legalized. It's, uh, it, seems it, made legal, it seems like it was made mandatory. You know, the, the, the streets yes. of New York are that clouds of yes. weed. You can't, if you don't want to smoke around, you have no choice. You know, basically. It's unbelievable. Every single person. Everyone is, yeah. Except me. Yeah, yeah. Me too. You walk by a construction site and it is the. Yeah. And, and that's really shocking because there they are. They're hanging from these beams. And I think, you know, it's not me that's going to fall, you know, with the... <laughs> yeah, exactly. How high do you want to be? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now, I, I, will, uh, I want to give this a plug, even though you're not here to plug anything, which you're just here because you're a good friend. But this is the Fran Leibowitz Reader, and I encourage anyone to get this, if you get this, uh, because it is uh, exactly this funny, and it's a great read, and I just never get a chance to plug anything for you. Uh, but I know you're, you're, you're back doing uh, shows. Like, you're doing, you do shows where someone interviews you for 30 minutes, and then you answer questions with the audience. Right, someone interviews me on a stage yeah. for 30 minutes, uh, and then they leave. Mm. Just mentioning, just saying. Uh, and, th and then I go to a lectern, <laughs> and I answer questions from the audience for an hour. Uh, that's so, April 6th and 7th, you're at Town Hall here in New York. Yeah. Uh, so uh, everyone has to go to this, because this will be unbelievable. You get to see Fran Leibowitz in person. For information, which is, this is great, again, there is not yet a website currently, because this is Fran. You're, so you're on your Facebook, facebook.com slash Fran Leibowitz. We're going to put it on the thing. How did you end up even setting that up? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I've never seen it. My agent did it. It's like, by the way, I've never seen Netflix. Yeah. So I've never seen it, and when I, this was coming out, I uh, would ask people, do you have Netflix? And they would look at me like I was asking, do you have electricity? Because apparently there's one person in the country that doesn't have Netflix, that's me. Yeah, uh, we love you. Come back whenever, and uh, Zoom me whenever you want to. No, don't worry. Fran Leibowitz, everybody. Uh... Oh, I want to show, uh, let me show a clip. Uh, I want to show a clip of the show. Here's the clip of Fran and pretend it's a city. Take a look at this. I don't know if they do to you, where you have your own, actually young, child. I don't mean a little child, but a yes. teenager. Yes. Uh, but people that age, the age of your daughter, yes. um, and somewhat older, very often approach me um, to ask me my opinion of what they should do in life. Like, you know, Fran, do you, and I always think, like, first of all, I don't care what you do. <laughs> <laughs> They're so used to being, like, the center of their parents' attention that they, anyone they see that age, they just think, like, you know, maybe this person will help me out. <laughs> but that would be a mistake with me, because... Uh, <laughs> That is so exactly on the money. Fran Leibowitz, everybody. Check out this book, by the way, The Fran Leibowitz Reader. Pretend it is to city is on Netflix now. Go to Fran's Facebook page for more info to see her live in Town Hall. This is all over. Hey, hey.